Hey everyone, welcome to this uh, second module of uh, Facebook advertising. And we, this one, we're going to be talking about um, how to create a Facebook page. But first, let me go over real quick uh, difference between a Facebook page and a personal profile. Okay, so and a lot of I, I'm going to go over this because a lot of people tends to get confused with uh, what's a, a personal page, a personal profile, and a, a business page. Or Facebook page, right? I talk to different business owners, and a lot of, uh, sometimes I hear, "Yes, I do have my business on Facebook. I do have a Facebook page page from business." And when I go and see, uh, what they mean is they 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 set up a profile with their, uh, for uh, they set up a personal profile with their business name, which is a big no no, right? One of the reasons why it's a big no no is because. Facebook uh, policy states that you have to use your legal name on your personal profile, and if people complain that you have, you know, about your profile and ended up being closed, and you you have your business name in there as opposed to your personal, your legal name. Well, if you go and claim a request to have your uh, page open, uh, or or um, what's the word I'm looking for? Or not not being banned anymore, then obviously they're gonna ask for proof. And part of the proof they're gonna ask for is either a driver license or type of ID, government issue ID represent, uh, indicating that that's your real name. And if your business name is the one listed there and not your real name, well, you're gonna have a hard problem proving to them um, that that's your name and for them to be able to reinstate your page or your profile. So no, don't don't do that mistake right of confusing a business page with a personal profile and having your business name on your personal profile as your name uh, if you concern about Facebook possibly closing in the future so the personal profile looks you know like this this is how you know in, here in January 2019 that you are in a personal profile or looking at a personal profile <coughs> you notice there's timeline about friends photo and more at least this is how it looks like on a um, desktop version right and mobile version um, you know very let me see if I can give you some pictures here of mobile version so here's a picture um, this is what mobile version of your friend looks like you have your cover in the back the picture in the back their name um, and this is uh, the look as if it was your own personal profile, right? New posts, updating, etc. Uh, for your friends, will have a little bit of different uh, look in it. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see now if I can show you. This is a Facebook personal profile. Let's see. Uh, Facebook business page mobile. Let's see if I can find some pictures. As you can see here in a mobile version, it's very business-like, right? You have a nice small icon over here instead of having the picture over here, the uh, profile picture. You have their cover photo, that's very similar. You have a like button, that's one key indicator, how you know that's a business page on mobile. And then you have other stuff, other call to action buttons, right? Depending on the type of business, a box section, um, post menu, etc. right? So uh, a, a mobile, that's how it looks like on, on, on uh, desktop this is what personal profile looks like um, and let's see uh, Facebook and let's go and look a uh, business page for example let's go see uh, Ray Higdon who is a uh, network marketer trainer who has a personal profile of course in a business page right this is a personal profile and I know because he had a uh, he has an ad button and this is a business page because it has a like button so if you go here on a desktop you notice there is menu to the left menu on the top it has call to action buttons um, and that's how basically you'll know that this is a business page as opposed to a personal profile right because the personal profile does they have a like button instead they have a friend connection requests or messages uh, or, or um, uh, yeah friend instead of like um, so that's it about a quick introduction to differentiate the two of them. Uh, now let's go ahead and get, dive in a little more here. Mm. 
let's see. So all you need to create a personal page is basically have a personal profile, right? So all in order for you to uh, be able to build a business page, you do need to have a personal profile, right? So um, at least you should get that out of the way first. And if you don't know how to build a personal profile, let's save some time on this video. You can go to Google and uh, or YouTube and type in how to build a personal Facebook pro or Facebook personal profile. Uh, this is a quick picture over here, what a Facebook page looks like and type of content you set up, you can set up um, in order for you to create your business page. Uh, this is the option from a mobile version. I will recommend you definitely to anything that you do on Facebook to use a desktop version. And the reason why, because in future videos, we're going to go into um, the Facebook advertising platform, which um, it, it will be much easier to you to navigate through if you are in a computer as opposed to using your phone. Um, so that's just my preferred recommendation to you, right? To um, be going with me through this on, a, um, on your desktop. If you're on your phone, um, just basically more difficult right you gotta watch um, the video and go and follow me and then at the same time trying to set up your page um, you know it's, it's a much harder thing to do so this is how it looks like on a mobile version now on a personal profile you click the little triangle over here and you can go into create page and um, hmm, okay this is brand new looks like uh, how to create a page just change location, but I click in there. <laughs> and uh, what happened? The button disappeared now. Okay. So, what do I need to do now? So, if you need to create a page, um, I went to the little triangle. No, not the little triangle, but if you notice, it came up on the top over here. Oh, so no wonder why uh, <clears throat> this button was here as well. Okay, so this was the mobile version. Okay, so scratch that. See, they just changed this in the uh, the fly, right? And um, something that I wasn't aware, of, but as you can see, uh, Facebook changes things all the time. Um, so this is not the mobile version. This is the desktop version as it appears. So if I go here, create, right, I have the same menu as it appeared there on that uh, slide that you see there. And so obviously um, you'll probably go, you, you'll go into page if you want to create a new page. And then you can see, you can see here if you want to set up a page between a business or brand or community or public figure. And you can read the description here about the difference between the two, right? Connect and share with people in your community, organization, team, group, or club. Um, showcase your product, services, spotlight your brand, uh, reach more customers, Facebook, etc. So, you know, if you, for example, are a solopreneur, um, you're probably promoting other business opportunity. It's more likely your own, your own, fig your own personality that you build in, right? So, if you build a business page related to your own name. Um, it's more like a personality page. You can use public figure. Um, if you are more like a small local business location that has a brick and bono motor, or you like a you know um, a consultant that has a, a a name register under your business, you can definitely do that uh, over here. Use this option. So it's up to you. Either way, it doesn't really matter. I don't, I don't think there's specific menus that uh, belong to one another. You can always change the menus once you create your page. Um, so that's that. Then create a new page, right? Once you select the option that you want, um, you go and choose the category. Obviously you have to name your page. Um, you have to complete some information. I will recommend you to complete as much information as possible. As a matter of fact, you should have a, um, especially if you're going to trying to go long-term with this, right? And, um, and try to get as much visibility as possible with your business, I would recommend you to have a spreadsheet with everything um, that will be needed, with all the information that will be needed, like your name, business hours, if you have one, uh, phone numbers, address, or or at least the cities that, you, that you're going to be located at, or 
date, whatever. And the reason why I say that is because then the same information you already have in a spreadsheet, you can use it to other areas, to other uh, directories, so to speak, right? Like Yelp, um, Google, my business, uh, Bing, Yahoo Local, etc. right? Popular websites like that where people can go and find your business as well. Um, you can have all that. So, um, so yeah, your page name, your category, uh, you can type in the category that you want that you hit continue once you put name there. Um, and in here you have the address, phone number. Now you can just put some information here. You can complete the, the rest at the later point, right? The next thing is you're gonna do is you're gonna create a, you're gonna add a uh, profile picture, right? Which is this one. You may even Google uh, profile picture size. You prefer to Google that one. Um, if you don't have a profile picture, right? If you like, if you have a business and but you your page is not gonna be your um, your identity, right? Instead, you build in like a brand type of business. Um, you can Google different. You can Google different um, services out there that are free um, to help you be, build a logo if you don't have one, or just do something, right? So, for example, logo free building. You can do something like that and see what comes up. You can go to websites like Fiverr. And it's really cheap service for them to build you uh, logos if you want to. <clears throat> but first, maybe you want to Google Facebook. Um, business page profile picture size. And, and you can see the results right there, just so that you have an idea what size of um, uh, picture you want to upload there. Um, other free tools that I recommend you to build logos or other type of picture, the right size and work is Canva. And the reason why is because there's so many uh, templates already there for you. Um, you can just type in uh, Facebook post post story, or you can just actually type in logo because it's the same site for everything, right? Uh, Facebook will adapt to even if this one says 500 by 500 uh, Facebook will adapt to it um, if you just go to like a logo um, So yeah, this is a, a great tool to, for you to use to create um, uh, a profile a, a Facebook Picture profile if you don't want to use your own picture profile, right? If this is more like a brand type of page that you build in um, and you want to upload a logo instead, then obviously use tools like those to create the, the logo if you don't have one yet. Um, the next thing is to add a cover photo. Cover photo is the big uh, banner picture in the background, right? This one over here. Uh, you can add video as well, but let's keep things simple and just go with the picture in the beginning, um, which is the, the big one. And the same thing, right? You can either uh, type in over here, Facebook business page. Um, cover photo picture size to find out the pictures if you want to know them you can go to canva and type in facebook cover and it tells you right there right it gives you the size it gives you some templates um in case you don't have one or you can go to websites like fiverr.com and, and and for a really low cost you can get people to develop your uh, Facebook cover for your page. So don't get stuck on that. Just get some, put something there to get started that reflects your business. Um, at a cover video, again, that's that's more advanced. Hear more about your business. As I mentioned before, right, you want to go to the about section and complete as much as possible, especially if you're trying to go the long term. Uh, over here in this business, um, it doesn't have it doesn't have every much, right? But he's very well known, but um, let me give you a good example of what a page you have all the information completed. So let's say Neil Patel, right? He's a big marketer. Uh, he has a business page, lots of followers. Um, that's his watch channel.
All right, so let's see. Um, so for example, on my page, <clears throat> um, what I would recommend you is to have as much as possible complete. The reason why is because Google picks up the information from uh, a business page. So if somebody if 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 somebody is looking for something, um, and Google, and you know for something, and, and you within your about section are, are have specific words that Google is picking up, um, you know that that helps your your you your business your business page to come up on the Google results. Uh, other things that uh, will help you with is because obviously you you can put as much information as possible if you want people to contact you. So that's my recommendation, right? It all depends how you want your business to be. Me, perhaps, yes, I I okay with people to try to reach me, so I put as much information as possible. Some other people may not have as much information as possible because that's not part of the business model. Um, so it's up to you how you want to handle that, right? But most uh, brick and mortar businesses, as you can see, Facebook do recommend to have uh, to add a description. Um, you can create a page username. Now, this over here, create a page username. The reason why it goes into this is because when you first create a page, um, Google will, Facebook will give you just um, part of the name that you chose that you name your page in a random number. So, for example, um, What's a page I just created? Let's see. Doesn't have a lot of likes. So for example, this one Solano Homes for Sale. Right? If you notice over here, my username is it's you know it's very complicated, right? And um, that could uh, that's that's more of a um, problem just because when you want to give people a link for them to send you messages directly. Um, you know, as you can see, it's a long number, it's hard to remember, but once you have, I believe, 20 likes is one when your page will be able to be uh, qualified for um, change to, to set up your own username as you want. So, for example, if I do Solano Homes for Sale, it says over here, please, uh, so that was already used, um, really, okay, for sale. So that one is still available and has been created for so I know okay I guess I guess I already had enough likes on the page um, to allow me to do that and I believe that's another hack that I found like if for example if you have a friend that um, that can be added to your page as a as a as a um, as an admin, um, you know, so, so basically you create your page and you add your family member or a friend as an admin as well in it, and that admin, and from that um, profile from the profile of your of your friend logs into to Facebook and goes to manage the business page. Um, if they go and set up the the username, I I seen a, that hack to work that basically is gonna allow you to change your uh, your name, the name of your, your username of your page, which are actually having to wait for the 20 likes to have on your page. Um, this one, for example, I don't think I have 20 likes. Uh, I have 14 likes, or maybe th that number went away, or I don't know. But if for some reason you have issues about uh, creating a username, your own custom username, again, it's good to have that because it's easier for people to remember um, when you're giving them that page. Um, then you may want need may need to ask for friends and family to give you to like your page in order for you to have your customer name username, uh, or you can try the hack that I mentioned to you. Right, you you can go to settings, uh, hit on page roles. You can just simply type in the, the the name of a friend or the email and then add them as you know admin. For not for for just temporarily add them and then once they accept that you can go to their profile and manage um, go and manage the page from their profile to see if it allows you to create the uh, a custom username without having the twenty likes and that's something that I try already so <clears throat> if if Facebook hasn't fixed that she's still working all right so creating the page username any additional information you want to put in the about section as I've been showing you. 
you can go to the edit page information um, complete as much as possible they want to provide right descriptions category phone numbers website emails um, then it goes a little bit into the, the the template settings right what type of buttons you want to, to show into the over here on the left side um, again that's where you go into settings templates and tabs you can pick a, t a template over here just so that you have an idea what type of buttons they recommend you to have on the left side um, it doesn't really matter because you can always pick and choose the buttons over here as well right you can either add a tab you can turn off any of these ones like for example if I will if I don't have any events then we're doing any events you can turn it off and save it um, etc right so that's the event that's the managing the, the settings and templates you can add call to action buttons right for example and in, in your page brand new it's gonna show like this add a button and you have different options you can see here you can have button to send your message contact us call now sign up send email etc um, right here good example has sign up and probably that takes him to his website okay so you can use that as different ways be creative with it right um, this one looks like it has a send message button so in this example they're looking more to capture uh, uh, messages people to get to contact you but the button could actually be uh, applied many different ways so for example let's say you have a, um, a consultant right you are a consultant you can have a book button you are a, a hairstylist right you can have a book button book now button and I think this one has a uh, specific appointments through Facebook link to a website and it has all the applications that you can connect to if you use one of those applications uh, contact you that's just basically right different things either you can put your phone number call now send a message if you wanted to send your message sign up uh, to take it to a different website or send an email uh, learn more about the business in case you wanted to go to a specific video you had to put the link learn more in case you want to take it to your web to your website uh, chat with you um, if you were like more of a ecom type of website I, I never used this chat with you so I wouldn't be able to tell you what what's in it download your app or play your game um, again those are the options that uh, the, the call to action button that you have available there now you should test your call to action button um, by just simply press it um, and that's basically it in regards to creating your business page all right this video was a little bit longer than I wanted to but um, I just wanted to show you real quick walk you step by step on some of the things that you want to do in reference to creating a business page uh, other thing I would recommend is to go to settings and go and check out what other settings you want to do right so for example you have uh, country restrictions if you if you want your page to be shown only to people in a specific country you have age restriction if you if you're if you have products or services that should be uh, only for adults or over 18 over 21 you know they have some age restrictions you go in there and do that as well um, and yeah just go and check what other settings you you could explore all right, have a good one and look to see you in the next class. All right, bye.